All right, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome back again. Like I said, I don't have a capture device, so to go into the BIOS <clears throat> for my uh, desktop, I got to record it with an external device. So I got my uh, <clears throat> my Ventoy GPT USB stick in there, and let's reboot this computer. And let's uh, MSI's boot options is F11. Let's go look at the BIOS first or the EFI. Pound that F11. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, my keyboard's bad, but it is what it is. All right, so here we go. We got, pretty sure I have it in uh, UEFI only, mode only, because like I said about this, uh, these Ventoy uh, sticks, the beautiful thing is it'll they'll do uh, UEFI or MBR. So since I have the uh, UEFI mode in uh, UEFI only, it's not looking for any... Uh, for any MBRs. So let's go to let's go into the BIOS. Now I don't have a Max motherboard, so I have the light BIOS. Don't make fun of me. I can't I don't have the click BIOS because I have the uh <clears throat> the small BIOS ROM, you know they everybody's remember the big controversy they skimped out. So let's go to boot. So BIOS mode select UEFI. So yeah that was UEFI only and <clears throat> That would have worked. I could switch it to Legacy in UEFI. So now I got the boot. <clears throat> I got it. Uh, boot mode set to Legacy in UEFI. Let me save that. Save. Save changes and reboot. Yes, save it. Let's go F11 again. F11. A membrane keyboard, boys and girls. I'll get a mechanical keyboard someday. Now, you see, there's more options here than there were before. You have, remember, the Ventoy stick has two partitions. So this BIOS is smart enough where it's look, it's going to check both partitions <clears throat> for boot data. So I'll check this one for UEFI boot data, and I'll check this one for UEFI boot data. And it says, well, I see boot data here too. So this <clears throat> wasn't there before; it's there now because we put the uh, by we set the EFI for legacy slash EFI mode. So it sees the MBR now; it sees the master boot record that's on the Ventoy uh, USB as well. So if I go to uh, if I go to try to boot this MBR, it'll probably work. If I try to boot this one, I think this is the one that has my ISOs on it. I don't think this one will boot because there's no bootable data on that. So let's try it. Nope. See, partition one won't boot. That's the one. That's the NTFS partition. So <clears throat> the uh, the BIOS sees that partition, and it's willing to check to see if it has any uh, <coughs> UEFI bootable components, but it doesn't. That's the partition that has the UEFI <coughs> booting files on it. So that will work. So I could boot UEFI, or I could boot MB M M Master <coughs> Boot Record, MBR. Let's do MBR first. MBR. All right, MBR success. Uh, let's uh, let's reboot F2 power. Reboot. System is rebooting. F11 again. My fans are going crazy because they're like, BIOS isn't telling us what to do. 
Here we go again. We got the options again. Now remember, this partition doesn't boot. It's not near to boot from, but it sees it. And the, the, the good on MSI or AM, AMD, whoever baked it into the uh, BIOS. I don't, I don't know who who who's responsible for it in there, but it uh, it's smart enough to check all UEFI partitions for boot bootable device, and it has, like I said, the support for an MBR boot, so that's awesome. So this should work, this will be the UEFI boot, let's UEFI, because we just did this one and it worked fine, let's do this one now. UEFI, damn, that one went, that one boot, that one booted instantly, I gotta see that again, hold on, let's do reboot, I want to see if that was just a fluke, or is the uh, UEFI boot that much faster than the MBR every time? Let's see. F11. F11. Alright, here we are again. Let's try the MBR boot again. VT loading. So I got a VT loading thing on the screen. So that didn't take long at all. But man, I didn't even that didn't even pop up on the screen when I did UEFI boot. Let's try it again. Reboot. F11. <laughs> All right, we're back here again. I'm going to UEFI boot again. I want to see if that even has time to pop up on the screen. Maybe it was just a fluke the first time around. No, UEFI boot goes stupid fast. So, yeah, it works. Um, Ventoy works. Uh, <coughs> UEFI, MBR, and all these guys are on an NTFS file system. So, I don't have to worry about... ISO is under 4 gigabytes. <clears throat> so yeah, um, everything's working the way I want it to work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave this uh, UEFI setup for CSM slash legacy support just in case I do want to boot my easy to boot, easy to boot drive in the future. Um, but now I have this Ventoy stick that if I come across one of those uh, UEFIs that I was talking about in the last video that refuses that refuses to boot <clears throat> unless it's set to UEFI only mode I know that this Ventoy stick is capable of doing both so yep <clears throat> Ventoy uh, gets a big thumbs up from me shout out to my son <laughs> best guy ever thanks for watching uh, uh, my video um, if anybody watched all of part one something wrong with you <laughs> everybody enjoy the Super Bowl and have a good night